What is going on YouTube? This is Chino and welcome to episode 6 of our Let's Play series for Warframe on the Nintendo Switch. Now this game is actually taking up a lot of my spare time and uh, I'm starting to really understand why it is so addictive and why it has been so popular over the years that it has been out. Now I th I'm guessing the developers are making a lot of money through microtransactions and that's simply because they're bringing out content constantly and uh, that content seems to be free. So anyone in the free-to-play market who's looking for a good game to pick up, you don't really need to spend money to enjoy it. It's just a sort of a faster progression if you do uh, for certain things and mostly cosmetic stuff as well. Now, if you missed any of the first five episodes in this Let's Play series, don't worry. I'm going to put a card up for you right now to click on and that'll be up in the corner right about now. So the idea of this series has been, since it's been ported over to Nintendo Switch, for me to jump in as a new player and experience the current version of Warframe that is out on Nintendo Switch for the first time since I've played it many years ago on PC which didn't really turn out well when my computer actually died uh, but I have managed to really sort of progress through some of the newbie areas of the game and still learn a lot as I have gone along and I've still got a lot to learn as well but uh, like I said it has been a lot of fun and I'm thoroughly enjoying myself and being such a social game now that I'm a member of a clan and a clan that's mixed with players who are both new and old uh, has been a really good experience for me I've managed to do a lot of different things in the game um, in all different parts of the universe that is there on the star chart and uh, so far so good I think. So if you have a Nintendo Switch you should definitely download this game if you intend on either downloading it or if you have downloaded it if you've already started playing or if you intend on start playing then you should definitely look us up. I'll leave a link in the description for the Discord channel uh, where it's basically not just about Warframe on Nintendo Switch but also Warframe on PC and there are a lot of other games in this gaming community as well so the clan's not not just about this one and only game it's a good place to find like-minded people uh, some people to play with you know to make all of your gaming a lot more social and fun and I have to say they're a really friendly bunch of people so you should enjoy yourself there as well so let's jump into today's episode and I don't want to give too much away but today's episode's all about progression and a little bit about frustration and I'm not going to go through too much detail you'll just have to see it for yourself uh, but basically if you do like today's episode I'd love it if you did all that really cool stuff like leave a like let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to see within this let's play series and I'll catch you guys a little bit later <music> Alrighty, so much excite. This is happening. This is actually happening. We have got in progress Rhino at 52 minutes to go. We've got the Obex to claim, which I'm about to claim. And the heck is well and truly on its way. Now, I've heard things about this weapon and I'm excited to give it a go. Because as we as we speak, everything I'm using right now is maxed out and I've run out of things to level. So let's let's claim the Obex. Um, and I'll see how I can build it first straight off the bat because I'm using the Jewel Zoran and obviously, there we go. And obviously we want to be able to get this thing into a much better place. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the, um, whoops, we're going to look at the stance and apparently there's, that's incorrect. Obex are fists, right? Let's have another look. There's no stance mods that cannot be right. Well, okay. So unfortunately, apparently the Obex is a sparring weapon and not fists, which is ridiculous. And I don't understand why they're not clearly marked. I really don't. But anyway, 
like the game has been out that long, you would think that they would clearly indicate what type of weapon they are, categorize them. It is a hot mess. Apparently they are claws. Well, that's not good. I was really looking forward to getting into the low level Obex, but I can still do it. I mean, I can still do it. It's, it's super frustrating that I don't have fist stance. I mean, they go on your fist, you punch with them. I just don't understand why they're not fists. The game is just all wrong. <laughs> it is all wrong. Um, but anyway, we've only got five to introduce to these fists. So I obviously just want to put on, I suppose, the best pressure point I have available to me. Let's use this and then we'll just, we'll just hold on to it like this for now because we're probably going to want to add other things. Oh, hey guys. Let's start punching. Punch, punch. Wow, it's pretty fast without any extra Fury mod added to it. Just blown away by how they're not fists. Look at him punching. You're throwing punches. You've literally got fist weapons on your fists. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get over it, don't I? I need to get past this. <laughs> oh. I'm just feeling sorry for myself because I was really excited. All right, let's just do some Jupiter for now. Let's do Alara. That's a survival. Or if we do this, it'll open up too. Yeah, let's do the capture. Yes, it is. We're going to look at Obex and we're going to change. Um, what am I going to do? We're going to go like that and just put Parry in there for now. Or, oh, no, 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 no. There we go. That's better. 120% melee damage right there. Okay, so I mean it'd be great if I can get myself a stance card, but outside of that I am probably now going to work on uh, some fury, some breach, and add an element. Actually, if I add an element it'll actually be pretty decent damage. Okay, well there's that. And there's my... <laughs> it clearly fits weapons. Clearly fist weapons. Let's see how this is coming along. Still six minutes. But the Amphis apparently is a bit of fun as well. I don't think I have a stance for, for staff. Let's have a look at what I do have a stance for because... Stance. Okay. So. We've got swords, so I can go back to my sword and I can use that. Gunblade, which I will eventually get. Fists, which apparently I don't own. Scythes, that's cool. Um, dual daggers, machetes, and dual swords. So it's it's really strange, it's really funny. Um, my, so my dual zorin, which are effectively two one-handed axes, falls under dual swords. First thing we're going to do is, the well, Rhino's done.
Cool. All right. Well, he looks bad ass. Let's get him. Let's get him modded up. So effectively, I mean, if you look at it this way, with the help of physique, that'll go up as well. Your health is now at 300. Your physique is going to add 15% to that. Um, so I don't know if that makes it 315 for 15% of my base health, or if my base health turns into 300 and it's an extra 45 coming from 15% of 300. Your redirection takes the shield all the way to 450, so that's pretty good. And this will just help with the recharge and that, I suppose. So that's okay for a starting unranked rhino. Life support modules dropped by fallen enemies. See that animation where he grabs the weapon again? See that? Automatic swap over to mastery weapon. This is going to change anyway uh, when this melee 3.0 happens. Set the alarm off, so what does that matter? Thanks, dude. Here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> Fly kick, activate. Jump kick. Do some Chuck Norris style attacks. chosen a colors game that I think is rather fun and a little brighter I think since it's a such an armorous type of uh, warframe yellow does look quite cool on him and you can see the elements coming off the weapons located on my fists that aren't actual fist weapons but anyway that's neither here nor there all right, ladies and gents, we have so much going on that I think next episode is going to be really cool. We've got plenty to look forward to. We're going to try out a whole bunch of these weapons, and I think the Fragor will look really cool with Rhino being such a big unit of a frame, uh, even though I think he probably goes better with Frost since um, that was the fight that we got the blueprint from. The Heck, everyone talks about the Heck being such a great weapon early on in the game, so uh, really looking forward to, look, uh, to trying that out, not only with Rhino, but also with a couple of builds with some other Warframes as well. 
well. These melee weapons, just stuff that I can level up to work towards my mastery rank. And speaking of mastery rank, we're going to continue to push ourselves through to get to mastery rank 6. We're going to, once these three Oberon parts are completed, we're going to purchase the Oberon blueprint and start the progression on getting him crafted. And then once he comes about, we're going to give Oberon a try and try a couple of his builds as well. Uh, not to mention, not to mention, as you can see on my Warframe, I'm just ticking over now for you to have a look. There it is, the clan logo. It's totally official. I am now a proper member of the clan now that I have the logo. And I'll get you guys to have a look at the clan one more time because I want to invite all of you to come and play with us. If you're new to the game, it's a great clan for you to learn some stuff with. As you can see from the roster, there's a good mix of veterans as well as players who just started out on the Switch as well. People from all different time zones in the world, and uh, you'll be able to find someone to play with. I'm absolutely sure of it. So uh, jump in, look us up. We'd be lucky to have you. So please, please ask for an invite if you really want one, and uh, it'd be a lot of fun. I'd love to play with you guys, you guys who have been watching my videos for uh, probably almost a year now so uh, that's going to wrap it up for today's video I hope you did like today's video and if you did of course I'd love it if you left a like to let me know that you did enjoy it and uh, we're going to continue pushing on and in the next episode as I said we've got all that stuff coming out we're going to continue to rank those things up as well uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more of my content and click on the bell icon if you want to see notifications from the Let's Play series for Warframe on Nintendo Switch I'm Chino and I'll catch you guys in the next one